Let me show you how you can export the BOM of this assembly here to Excel using your own template. We're going to do this with the PDM to Excel task from Blue Byte Systems. I've got the assembly here. I'm going to go to my location where I have my template saved, which should be right here. I'm going to open this up quickly just to show you guys what that looks like. There's an important piece of information that we need to configure in the settings of PDM to Excel task. And that is the starting cell where our BOM header starts. So for us, it's going to be at the 60 at the first column. So let me just close that. Cut the path of the folder. I'm going to go to my task list here. Let's clear this up quickly and then go and open up the task setup page of my PDM to Excel add-in. Let's show you here where the setting that we need to set for the template. Go directly to the BOM tab and there is a new section here called custom template where you can browse to the file that's going to be your template. This file needs to be stored in PDM and then you can just specify here the starting location of the your BOM data. It's going to be the row and then colon and then the column index. That's all the information we need. We're just going to click on OK. Now we can switch over to PDM, right click on the assembly, go to tasks and then launch my task. And that should kick off the task. It's being launched now and the task has finished. If I go to this location here and I open up the Excel spreadsheet, I can see that my BOM did print and it used the template. So you can see the header of my template as well as the BOM data laid down right after that header. If you want a demo, feel free to reach out to me over on LinkedIn or through our website at www.bluebyte.biz. Thank you for watching.